Welcome back to Star Stable with Stacy. Thank you again for joining me today. No time to wait. Let's get started. You guys were so fast. I need to get out and run more. Imagine being slower than a horse. Pfft, can't be having that. Anyway, now let's get to what I need your help with. I'm going to try and tell you the whole thing from the very beginning so that you're up to speed. Many, many years ago, just when I started with your jitsu, my old trainer, Master Lucia Goldspur, took me with her to the stable during my school break so that she could teach me an ancient technique. The technique was the way of the horse, and it's one of the oldest methods in your jitsu. I remember being disappointed when Master Lucia said to me that we were going to spend the next three weeks mucking out the stables and taking care of the stable's horses. I wondered what it had to do with your jitsu. After three weeks, though, Master Lucia said I was ready for the next stage. Master Lucia took me to the paddock where she lets a horse run free, then asked me to study the pattern of its movements. I still remember how graceful I thought the horse was as it moved, but no matter how hard I try, I, I can't remember. I remember her saying, if you're to build a good foundation for the way of the horse, you must know how the horse moves around. That's why I need to remind myself of how a horse moves, like when Raspberry River is out running. My question to you, Nova, is could you show me Raspberry River's different paces and walking styles? Great. Okay, follow my instructions and walk in the style that I ask you to. Show me how you walk. Okay. It just seems to be taking a long time. I like that she bobs her head. Yeah. She's really into this. Now show me how you trot. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh, excuse us, horse. Show me a canter. I'm getting there. There we go. I hope he's paying attention. Raspberry River's doing some great work here. Check it out, Ricky. Now a gallop. It is kind of a small paddock. Oh, we're back down to canter. Excuse me. I think I've got it. Almost anyway. We've got the walks, but there's something missing. Nova, there's something missing. I've seen the walks, but there's something else. What could it be? What can a horse do except walk? Definitely not push-ups. How's it going with the sit-ups? Squats? Could you show me Raspberry River doing some squats? No squats either? Nova, what sort of loser horse is this that you've got? Listen, if it's not squats, then what is it? Jump? What on earth are you talking about? You mean horses can jump? Well, yeah, well, of course it's obvious now. You're a genius. This was something Master Lucia did, but it was quite a while ago. She said that you can never learn the way of the horse until you're able to visualize a horse jumping. I know exactly which racetrack you should use as well. I know that the Bulldogs are using different tracks right now to test out locations for new races around here, but don't worry. There's a track that goes around the stable and it has tons of jumps. If you ride the course, I can stay here and watch you both in action. Okay, I'm ready, Nova. Let's see Raspberry River's best jump. Ride carefully, though. These jumps can be a little tricky. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. No pressure or anything. No pressure. Alright, here's a jump. Woo! I did it. Alright, slow down a little. Speed up. Jump. Jump. Gotta pace those jumps appropriately. We're not in it for speed. We're in it for jumps. <laughs> We got this. We're doing- I'm doing okay. Raspberry River's doing okay. Oh no, I may have jinxed it. Oh no. This is fun. Nice! I think I did okay there. Great job. Great job. How was that, Ricky? Wow! Like, wow! I almost forgot how it felt to watch a horse jump so gracefully. Oh, the next one we cannot do on horseback. Yay, Raspberry River went up a level. It's all coming back. It's all coming back to me now. I'm finally starting to remember the way of the horse, Nova. There's something missing, though. No matter how hard I try, I can remember techniques like the brush, the hoof pick, or the feed. It, it, is it that you have to do it standing on one leg? 
Or do you have to cartwheel while you do it? You don't think it's cartwheeling? Ha. Huh. Since when did you become an expert on your jitsu? No offense, but your horse can't even do squats. I know all about this stuff. No, almost. If only I could just remember those three techniques. Hmm. So you mean horses don't do push-ups, they don't do sit-ups, and they don't do squats? Right. Horses are weird, mysterious things. What do you think about the brush, then? You don't think it involves cartwheels? How do you do it, then? You want to show me how you take care of Raspberry River? Mm, that's an excellent idea. If I get to see how you look after Raspberry River, then maybe I'll remember how those techniques go. Show me your best care techniques. I'll ask for them in a certain order. Thanks. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. Follow instructions in two, one, go. Scrape the hooves. Are we supposed to use his hoof pick? Yes. Hoof picking. The grooming brush. Oh, I used my own. Does that count? I guess so. Oh, no, it didn't count. Pick up the grooming brush. He means this one, not the one in our inventory. Show me how you groom the horse. Oh, like so. Like so. Nice. Fetch the hay. Ooh, that's a lot of hay. Show me how you feed your horse. Gladly, Raspberry River is getting a lot of feeding today. Oh, complete. Feels like everything's falling into place. Excellent. Now I've seen how a horse moves, I've seen how it jumps, and I've seen how it's taken care of. Why does it feel like something's missing? Feels like I could see the spaghetti and smell the spaghetti, but don't know how the spaghetti tastes, you know? If I'd like to come riding? But I don't have a horse, and I think Nathalie is way too busy right now for me to go and ask her if I could borrow one from the stable. If I'd like to ride behind you on Raspberry River? Maybe you're on to something, Nova. If I get to feel how it feels to ride, then the last bits of the puzzle should fall into place. The last bits. I need to remember all of the ways of the horse. How do I get up on Raspberry River, then? Will you help me? Okay, I think I'm ready now. Ride really fast so that it feels like I might be about to fall off. I want to feel the wind whoosh by my face. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay, we'll be mounted this time. Come on up, Ricky. Snowstorm beach race. Fly like the wind. Because he wants to feel it whoosh by his face. Oh, oh, we did it. This one's a little trickier than the jumping. Hang on, Ricky. Another jump coming up, buddy. Hang on tight. I hope he's enjoying himself. Ooh, uphill jump. Those always make me nervous. Oh, no. We weren't lined up quite right for that one. Oh, that was a little short. I didn't think we were going to make that one. Hey, there's your house, Ricky! Bye, Ricky's house! Oh, we're stopping here. Never mind. <laughs> How'd it feel? Ricky, did you like it? Woohoo! What a race that was! Almost feels like we were in a real championship. That was really incredible, and I think I've remembered how all the techniques should be now. I think I'm ready to get going. Do you want to train with me and help me go through all my various techniques? Help me sharpen up before the qualifiers? You do? Great, thanks. Before we get started, I think you need to make a quick visit to Nathalie down by the stable. Since you were already helping me, I ordered a really awesome pair of sports shoes for you. You need good training gear if you're going to do this properly. Ride down and talk to Nathalie, then I'll see you outside the Bulldogs Clubhouse. Okay. Let's go see Nathalie. There she is, Nathalie. I hope you're having a great day. Hey, Nova, nice to see you. Sports shoes. Hope Ricky hasn't totally worn you out with all of the training. He asked you to collect the sports shoes he ordered for you, right? I'll just grab them for you right now. They're really nice. First, though, do you want to say hello to one of my best friends? This is Lady. She's been my best and most loyal friend for almost 12 years. 
Even though she's not just a little foal anymore, she's a total ray of sunshine, full of energy. Don't be shy. Go up and say hello to Lady. Okay. Hi. Seems like Lady really likes you. You and I should really take a ride together with Lady and Raspberry River sometime. What do you think? Oh, I love that. We're making friends. Glad to hear you'd like that. I can't today, sadly. I have a little beginner coming to the stable later to try riding for the first time. I thought that she might be able to take her first test ride on Lady because I, I don't think there's a more careful or understanding horse than her. She's always so cute and so gentle with the kids. She's so perfect to introduce to the little ones when they come to take a test ride. As soon as I've grabbed your shoes for you, I'll get started with preparing Lady. Oh no, look Nova, Ivan Drake is coming. Oh, I really don't like that man. Could you please stick around here with me while we find out what he wants? Oh. Sure. Oh, there he is. <laughs> what do you want, buddy? Hello there, Nathalie. You're getting ready to move out of my stables? <laughs> I heard Ricky wants to take part in the qualifiers for the district championships. Haha, <laughs> like that loser would ever have a chance. Nathalie, it's probably best that you start thinking about moving out of the stables so me and my club total destruction can take over. I promise I'll use this place a lot more than the old paddock I won from Ricky last time. Like who in their right mind would want to spend time there? Ha ha ha. When I won that old paddock from Ricky and told him he was never allowed to show his face there again, it was only because it was so much fun to see him so sad. Oh, ha <laughs> ha it's amazing when people are all sad like that. Laughing at them in this state is the best thing ever. So, this is the famous lady, huh, Nathalie? Lady, lovely lady, who's so nice and kind. <laughs> Can I pet the little bundle of lameness? No. No, you cannot. That creature's a crazy freak! No, it just, you're mean. <laughs> what? I'm never scared of anything, like I'd cry and shout for my mother just because of a dumb horse. Pfft. Nathalie, make sure you get a muzzle on that maniac, otherwise I'll be sending my lawyers to sue you so hard that you'll think fried porridge is luxury. I don't know what that means, but it sounds intense. Just you wait, I'll be back. Bye, Ivan. Oh, look at him. He walks like a goon. Ugh. Oh, Nova, that idiot makes me so angry. So angry that I'm I'm just shaking all over. I know I shouldn't let Ivan Drake have this effect on me. I, I shouldn't even care all about what he says, but it's hard to ignore it. Thanks for being there, Nova. You wonder what he was talking about? Oh, I'm sure you're curious. Has Ricky said anything to you about the paddock that's just outside New Hillcrest? Well, he didn't want to go there. He suggested you train there and then quickly changed his mind. Yeah, you see, the paddock used to belong to him. Oh, I'd love to tell you more about it, but I need to get Lady ready before the students arrive. I hardly know how I'll be able to groom her or get her ready, considering how much I'm still shaking. You'll help? Oh, that's so lovely. Thank you. Here, take my grooming brush and groom Lady. I'll tell you more about Ricky and the paddock while you're at it. Oh, brushing, brushing, brushing. Cool. She looks beautiful. Thanks ever so much, Nova. Has Ricky told you anything about his trainer, Master Lucia? He has? Yeah. You see, Master Lucia was the owner of the very old Yorjitsu club called Epona Kai. Back then, the focus of the club was on monitoring and measuring the old techniques of the martial arts right there in the paddock. Master Lucia was one of the greatest Yorjitsu artists of all time which is why the paddock is so well known amongst those who practice and follow your jitsu. Ricky had the luck to have Master Lucia take him under his wing at an early age, and she trained him in the way of the horse, as it's called. When she started to get into her later years, she asked Ricky if he would look after her club and paddock for her. Ricky was supposed to take care of the club and the paddock until a new master came along, but nobody knew who that master was supposed to be. Master Lucia had her faith in Ricky, but for Ricky to be master, he'd first have to win the Yorvik Championship. Ricky promised her he would, and then just a few weeks later, Master Lucia peacefully passed away. You don't need to be sad, Nova. Master Lucia was a very, very old lady when she died. She slept peacefully and happily and welcomed the next part of life, not knowing what was coming next, with open arms. Oh gosh, time's flying by. Lady's hooves need scraping before the kids arrive. How nice of you to help me with this, Nova. If you clean out Lady's hooves, I can then carry on with the story. Okay, we got this. Hoof pick. 
Eponikai. Thanks. Now Lady just needs to be saddled, and then everything's ready for my little student to arrive. Where was I? Ah, yes. Ricky had promised to take care of Master Lucia's old club, and the paddock belonged to it until a new leader of the club stepped up. Ricky, as you've probably noticed, can have a huge amount of self-confidence, and so he took part in the Yorvik Championships, even though Master Lucia told him to wait a couple of years until he was ready. The rest is history. Ricky lost in the final of the championship, and the person he lost against was none other than Ivan Drake. As well as his self-confidence, Ricky also lost the club and the paddock to Ivan. In the heat of the moment, he bet Ivan the paddock that he could beat him. If Ricky lost, Ivan would then own the paddock. Since the club lost its paddock, it also lost its headquarters. And because Ricky also became very withdrawn, the remaining members looked for other clubs to join, meaning that the club was more or less disbanded. Sorry to stop again, but I I'm, to I'm almost totally calm. I I'll need Lady to be saddled so she's ready for the lesson. Thanks for helping me with this as well. I promise I'll finish the story this time since you're helping me. Alright, let's pop a saddle on there. In a bridle. Oh, bridle first. It helps if you stand inside the horse. Just in case you didn't know. Thanks, Nova. I'll keep going now. There's not much of the story left. As you know, the years went by, and now I don't know what any of the other club members are doing. I know the only two who knew the way of the horse were Master Lucia and Ricky, who she'd taught because she wanted him to take over. Ricky seems to have lost a lot of his knowledge, but I really think you can help him find his way back. He's got it in there somewhere. He just needs a little help to get back on track. You have no idea how grateful I am that you're helping him, and I think he's really grateful too, but just doesn't ever think to say so. Even if the paddock is lost, it doesn't mean Eponikai has to be too. Ricky can still save the club, the paddock, my stable, and even me if he wins the competition. So thanks for training with him, Nova. Here are the shoes. Take them back to Ricky and carry on where you left off. The qualifiers start soon, so there's no time to lose. Thank you for the shoes. Four shoes. Oh, we have to give them to Ricky. I thought we could put them on. No, we have to deliver them. There he is. Hey, Ricky. Hey, you took your time. <laughs> we had things to do. We had to talk to Nathalie. What were you and Nathalie up to? Ah, oh, you helped her with Lady before her lessons. That's nice of you. Oh, she told you about the paddock at New Hillcrest? Well, I suppose it was just as well that you found out. Anyway, enough about the old days. We've got training to do. The qualifiers start soon, and I need to get into tip-top shape for them. I think I've remembered all the ways of the horse thanks to our studies together with Raspberry River. So, change into your sport shoes, and we'll sit down and get started with a little meditation to clear the mind before we train. Okay. I didn't put my sport shoes on. Oh, no. Okay. I guess that worked. Do we get sport shoes? Yeah, here they are. Oh, we look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I feel focused and ready to go, don't you? I guess. So, Nathalie's already told you a whole lot of stuff about Master Lucia and Eponikai, so you'll know that the focus of Eponikai is on the way of the horse. If we just watch a horse in action, we'll see that it will run from danger, preferably in a herd. That's why we've got the best defense tactics in your jitsu. Nothing can break through them. I thought we could start with one of those techniques, and it's the brush. I'll try my best to show you what to do so we can train together. The brush simply means that you brush away the enemy or their attack. It's really easy. Just imagine that you're brushing Raspberry River, but instead of having a brush and a horse, you've got somebody trying to attack you. Come on, Nova. Let's go brushing. It's got to be something like this, right? Brushing. We're brushing. That was a great start. We may as well move straight on to the next technique. You think we should go a little more slowly? Yeah, why? That was really good. I remembered the brush. Don't need to practice more than that. It'll be fine as it is. <laughs> we can move on right away with a defense tactic called the feed. Smart, Nova, you've got it already. Just like you said, the feed works like you're feeding a horse. Just without a horse or any food. Just try and copy me and remember to keep your arms up even if it feels like you're getting cramps. What are we doing here? Oh, the feed. Come on, just a little bit more. Feed. Okay. I don't know if I did that one right. Looks like you started to cramp up there a little, Nova. You're a natural, though. Everything's going so quickly. 
You don't need to be worried, Nova. Why would we need to go over this more than once? If you get it kind of 80% done the first time, then that's enough, I think. It's only the qualifiers, after all, and it'll all go perfectly now that I've remembered all the techniques of the way of the horse. Nobody's going to be able to touch me, unless they learn over 80%. The next technique we'll look at is the hoof pick. This isn't a defensive tactic like the others, it's, not, it's an offensive move that makes your competitor completely confused. Sometimes they even just sit down because they've got no idea what's going on, so get ready to be confused. You already know how to do this, exactly what you'd usually do with a hoof pick, just without a hoof pick or a horse. Follow me and we'll get going. Oh. But what? How is that? Um, I'm not sure about that, Ricky. This is going really well. I'm remembering everything. Remember when I told you that Master Lucia made me spend weeks in a stable during my school break just so that I could muck out and tidy up? She did that so that I would be able to learn one of the key techniques, one of the hardest, called the mucking. It took years for me to learn, so don't be too sad if you don't get it right away. The mucking technique can be done in many ways, just like ordinary stable mucking out can be done in different ways. Am I right? You're wondering how many different ways you could shovel manure. <laughs> the possibilities are limitless, Nova. You could throw it up in the air or try to catch it with a wheelbarrow. Uh, you could pile it up in a big mountain of dung or you can... Why are you looking at me like that? Let's just start with the mucking instead. Come on, Nova. Because you're getting real weird there. We Oh! What? I don't know, Ricky. I don't know. I don't know about this. He's doing some weird, like mage thing. I don't know. <laughs> Good start, but you clearly need more practice at this. Like I said, it took me a pretty long time before I nailed it. Wow, I don't think we need to train anymore for now. I'm pretty tired, actually. What do you think of having a few moments of meditation, and then we call it a day? You think we need to train more? Pfft, take it easy. Didn't you show how well it was going for me just now? We'll meditate a little now, and then I'm gonna go home and prepare for my diet. Didn't I tell you? I'm on the chips diet now. Chips are from potatoes, and potatoes are vegetables, and salad is made of vegetables, so my chips diet is basically the healthiest thing ever. <laughs> Plus, there's always salt in there, too, and you need salt in your body if you've been sweating during all those workouts. It's up there with the best, most healthy diets. However much you keep nagging about eating a varied, balanced diet of little bits of everything in moderation, I still know that my diets are better than your crazy fad. Enough of that now, let's cool down with some stretches and meditation. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I, I'm cool with the cool down. Nice training session, Nova, thanks. Now I'm gonna go home and relax with my chips. I'll probably see you later. Now it's time to get ready for the qualifiers. Here's a training vest for you so that you can use whenever you want to train a little extra. Oh, and the shoes, they're working out okay, right? Yes, thank you. Have a great day, see you soon. Well, let's check out our top. Oh, it's a workout top. Awesome. Thanks, Ricky. It's a little chilly now, but much appreciated. Thanks for stopping by, you guys. I hope you had a lot of fun. I know I did. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. In the meantime, give a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to Star Stable. Have fun. Be kind to each other. Bye.